countess asked for Pierre. At times like this, Katish, one must think of everything. You must think about the future. Yeah, cousin Vasily. I think nothing of such things. There's only one thing I pray for. That his soul may peacefully depart this world. Yes, yes, that goes without saying. But do you have his will in safekeeping? His true will? I mean, yes, of course. And that other will he made when his mind was disturbed, naming Pierre, that was destroyed. He still has it. And he's made many wills over the years. But he cannot leave the estate to Pierre. I know you think I'm stupid, but I know this. An illegitimate son cannot inherit a butter. But didn't Count write to the Emperor to say he recognized Pierre as his son. Yes, yes, but it was never sent, and what does it matter anyway? Don't you see? If it's discovered in his papers, Pierre will be Count Bezukhov and inherit everything. But what about our share? My God, don't you understand what I'm saying to you? We will have nothing. Nothing at all. Katish, listen to me carefully. Our duty, my dear, is to correct. The Count's mistake. We can't let him die having disinherited his nearest and dearest, can we? He wouldn't want that. And in any case, he surely has forgotten about it by now, and he'd want that false will to be destroyed. Destroyed? Yes, destroyed. Where is it, you must know? Saw the undertakers outside and that was touting for business. The Count still lives. Really? What were you thinking of? I'm s you have no business here, I think. I have a perfect right to be here. You know very well the Count is my near relation and poor Boris, his dear godson, who has more claim than us to be here at this sad time. Yes, yes, very well. But you must expect nothing. How is my father? Very ill. After this last stroke, he's not expected to last the night. Can I see him? Would he wish to see you? Oh, perhaps later. He's sleeping now. He's not disturbed at present. You take of the course seat. he will wish to see his son. Come. 